Hello, my name is Brian B. And I'm Megan. And we want to welcome you to East Coast Swing. We're going to demonstrate the basic for you right now. The basic looks like this. A one, two, a three, a four, five, a six. A one, two, a three, a four, a five, a six. All right, leaders, let's talk about your footwork. We're going to cover the timing and then how it's done technically. So if we're in closed position, we're going to rock back a quarter turn for a one, Two, then we're gonna face our partners on three of four. Then we're gonna do the right foot triple for five of six. If we did this one more time with timing, we have a one, two, a three of four, five of six. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. If we're in closed position, we are gonna be rocking back in fifth position, opening up from our partners, and then facing for triple step, triple step. Later on when we're in open position, it will be okay to rock just right away from our partners, but if we're in closed position, we're going to want to open up and rock. So let's talk about the quick technical footwork. We're going to be dancing as we open up on our rock step onto the ball of our left foot. We can drop this heel down to the point, maybe it touches the floor, but I want to keep my weight centered over my left, over my right foot. I don't want to drop my weight back, right? So in all of our rock steps, I don't, I can press this heel down, but I don't want to drop my weight back. That's going to be true of all of our rock steps. So this is a one, a two. Then I'm going to dance on the ball of my foot, ball, ball flat, ball flat, ball, ball flat, ball flat. Let's do that one more time. A ball, ball flat, ball, ball, ball flat, ball, ball flat, ball flat. Followers, now your footwork. We're going to start with our right foot and we're going to angle on our uh, fifth position break here for our rock step. So we have one, two, now we're going to head to the right for three, a four, and back to the left for five, a six. Let's do that again. So we have one, two, three, a four, five, a six. Now, if we're in closed position, we're going to be rocking back on this fifth position angle. But <clears throat> if we were having an uh, open position, two hands, we're going to rock back more on a straight angle than on that angled fifth position. So with parts of our foot, we have ball, ball flat, then we have ball, ball flat, ball flat, ball, ball flat, ball flat. All right, gang, let's talk about a couple of things we need to think about when dancing our basics. So we definitely have a swing grip, which is the leader's hand underneath the follower's hand. Follower's hand is on top. On this right side, this is a pretty standard closed position. Half of my hand is on one side. We curl around. I keep a frame with this elbow like any of our other dances. Megan's going to lay her hand on me, this right about my tricep level, right? So we are still as always in all of our partner dances, we're offset. So I'm looking over my partner's right shoulder and Miss Megan is looking over my right shoulder. Now, when I dance my basic, and we'll do this a couple of different angles, when we're in closed position, we're gonna open up our rock step from one another in this angle. Then we're gonna square back up to do our triple step and triple step. So anytime we're in closed position, we open up our rocks, triple step and triple step. Now, if we were to do our basic from a two hand hold, we would not have to open up our rock step. We're too far away from each other to make that a practical solution. So in that case, we would dance our basic and rock away from each other. Let's look at that from a different side. In closed position first, we have a, oh, we need to start with a rock step. We rock back, replace, triple step, triple step, or one, two, three, and four, five and six. If we were in a two hand hold or maybe a one hand hold or as we get more advanced a cross hand hold, our rock step wouldn't have to open to this angle. We rock away from each other, rock, step, triple step, triple step, or one, two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, eight. All right, now let's take a look at the left turning basic for East Coast Swing. Starts with a rock step, a rock step, a triple step, triple step, a rock step, a triple step, triple step, and rock step. 
All right, leaders, let's take a look at your footwork for the left turning basic. So left turning basic is rotating this direction. We're gonna do it off a of rock step. We're gonna open up off of our closed position on one, two. From here, I'm gonna be rotating my partner around. So I'm gonna take a small triple step, a three, a four. From here, I'm gonna rotate about a quarter turn for five, a six. If I did it from the other side, we'd open up for our rock, one, two. Small triple, just about in place for three, a four. Continue the rotation a five, a six, and we rock step. All the footwork is gonna be the same as our basic in that as we rock step, we don't wanna lose our weight backwards, right? We can open up this rock, this heel can work its way to the floor, but I don't put weight on it on my rock step. That's gonna keep our, our weight forward over the right foot for my one, two. From here, as I'm rotating my partner around, it's a small triple step underneath me, triple step. I continue the rotation, triple, step and all of the footwork is exactly the same as the basic except for where it goes on the floor. Followers, your footwork. So we have our rock back on one, two. We have one, two. We're going to go across three of four resolving five a six. Let's do that one more time from this side. We have our rock back, rock back. Now we're going to cut across the path. We have a triple step. We're going to resolve to our partner and finish our triple step to the side. From this side, making sure we remember that on this rock step, we're not going to put full weight on our back foot so that we don't move away from our front foot. Okay, so we have rock step or one, two, we go across three, a four, resolving five, a six. All right, let's talk about how we can execute, lead, and follow a left turning basic. So the left turning basic is going to the left side. So from my rock step, a rock step. As the leader, I need to rotate my upper body with my frame to bring my follower around. Staying in our windows, we have a triple step and triple step, a rock step. So like we talked about in the right turning basic, Megan has a window and I have a window. She's over my right shoulder, I'm over her left shoulder. As I, as I bring Megan across, I can't shovel her across and look to the wrong window. I have to actually take my headway and open it to the left as I open my frame to bring Megan across. When I finish that triple step, I should be pointed right at about her right foot with my head still in my window. I can continue and you can see we resolve into our window, which allows us to do another left turning basic if we so chose. All right, gang, let's take a quick look at the right turning basic for East Coast Swing. It's gonna look like this. A one, two, a three, a four, five, a six. A one, two, a three, a four, five, a six. All right, leaders, let's take a look at your footwork for the right turning basic. So I'm gonna do this with my back to the camera. So I'm gonna open up in a fifth position rock for a one, a two. Then I'm gonna to have to work myself diagonally across my slot with my partner on three, a four. Then I'm gonna square up to the camera on five, a six. So if we did this again from this angle, my partner's on my right side, we have a one, two. I cut across at an angle for three, a four. I resolve to come back on five, a six. If I repeated it again, we'd have one, Two, I'd come across a three, a four, continue turning a five, a six, before I hit my next rock step. Now, all the technique is the same as the basic. When I rock back, I don't wanna lose all of my weight back to that foot. I wanna keep my weight over the right foot, rock, replace. Then with the ball of the left foot, just like my basic footwork, I work myself across. Same thing again, I work myself across inside edge of my foot, triple step, and then finish my rock step followers your footwork so we're going to start with our right foot rocking back so we have rock step we are going to triple forward through our partner so we have a triple step now we're going to resolve and face our partner with a triple step let's do it one more time from that direction we have one two three a four five a six let me show you on this side. 
We are going to rock back like normal in our basic, rock, replace, not letting our heel come back and move our weight back. So we have rock, step, we're gonna triple forward, triple step, then as we resolve, it's gonna be the inside of our foot, triple step. All right, gang, let's talk about a little bit of the lead and follow and technical aspects of the right turning basic. It seems pretty simple, um, except for one thing. I have to rotate around my partner and maintain this position, right? This basic closed position where I'm over my partner's shoulder. So as I go across, rock, step, right? And Megan is closer to that side. If she races me, she's gonna beat me and we're not gonna have a very good right turning basic. So the follower has to stay in their window, leader has to stay in their window. Rock, step from here as the leader goes across, a triple step. Megan's gonna work herself into that window and that triple step's gonna go between my feet. Now as I rotate to my right, I'm gonna take small steps to allow Megan to progress and stay in her window. Same thing's gonna happen, we're just gonna look at it from the other side, rock, step, I have to work across a triple step. I continue to my right, Megan staying in her window, triple step, and we rock step. So some of the keys are gonna be leaders leaving this side open, followers, if we look at it from this side, staying in this window. So leaders, I leave my frame over here, so as I move across, my partner stays in that window, but followers, you have to do a good job of not racing us because you feel the leader's moving. That's a common mistake. You have to actually dance between the leader's feet as we go across. So if everything breaks down, as long as Megan stays between my feet, we're gonna have an ability to rotate to the right pretty easily. All right, East Coast Swing Dancers, we now have our basic, our basic turning right, our basic turning left. You might be wondering, what should I learn next? There are three moves that I'd recommend learning next, and you can learn them in this video right here. If you want, you can jump ahead and download our entire East Coast Swing syllabus. You can do that over on socialdanceonline.com right here, or in the description below, and get access to the entire East Coast Swing syllabus step-by-step step through all of the patterns.